Alright, so in this video I'm going to essentially just show the core functionalities of the Hokey Scheduler app. And when you start the app you saw a little toast message that says start adding courses. So before I start clicking this button I want to show you that this is the schedule menu and in this menu you can just see a grid that represents a student's whole week for a semester. Now if you hit this plus button uh, you're presented with a search view and what you need to do is you have to specify a subject so for example let's say I want to look up some CS classes you also have additional filters which can help uh, decrease the amount of time it takes to look through all the classes so you can specify your course number CRN you can specify what kind of lecture you're looking for so if it's online lab but for now let's just uh, visualize all the CS classes so you saw that loading bar pop up because this task is asynchronous and once that finishes you can see all of the CS classes that Virginia Tech has to offer for the fall semester. Now of course this is too many classes so let's say I want to narrow it down to classes that are like CS 1014. So I'll enter 1014 here and I'll hit search and made it a lot faster so now I only have two CS1014 classes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this class and when you click on a recycler view item you're presented with a detail fragment and it shows more details about the class such as a CRN, instructor, how many credits, when does it occur and you can actually just add this course to your schedule so if we head back to the first fragment scroll down you can actually see a little sticker here that shows that where this class is in your schedule. If you click on it, you're back to that detail fragment. And of course, you can remove the course from the schedule here. So if I hit remove, there's nothing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that course back. And that was CS 1014. So I'll hit search. And Let's actually add this one. So I'm going to add this one. And then let's say I want to add another class. So let's say I want to add math. And I have a very specific one. See, uh, math 2534. That's discrete math. So again, I'm uh, looking up a large set. Actually, I want to filter by CRN. This is a very specific one. Let's do 86626. I could add this class, but the problem is that its time overlaps with the um, other CS class that we already added. So if I were to add this right now, it would say this course causes a time conflict. The reason why is because it happens on Tuesday, Thursday from 3.30 to 4.45. If you look back, we already have a class from Tuesday to Thursday that happens in that time frame. In fact, this one particular case it happens at the exact same time but if there's any overlap then the app will prevent you from adding that class now of course let me try to add the different version of that class so just do that we don't want a 331 if we add a 4 this is Monday Wednesday so this should be perfectly fine course added to schedule and it's added now let's say the user wanted to add another intro to computational thinking class it's a different CRN maybe it's a different professor but and it has it occurs at a different day different time but it's still the same class and it's not logical to add that class again on your schedule so let's say I want to see us and Let's say I wanted to add this one. So this one's a different CRN. Well, if I click Add, it'll say you already have this kind of class in your schedule. One thing I also want to point out is if you look for your class that you've already added again, it will already recognize that you've already added this class and it'll give you the option to remove this class from your schedule. So now let's add another class. Let's say I want to add a theater class, for example. So Introduction to Acting. Monday, Wednesday, I think this class conflicts with another. Yeah, 
causes a time conflict. So let's find a different one. Tuesday, Thursday, that one's a conflict. Monday, Wednesday, this one should be totally fine. So of course I added to schedule. If I look back at my schedule, now my schedule is starting to look a lot more complete. And it's neat that each course is color coded so you can easily tell which course is which. Um, and then one thing I also want to show you is if you went into landscape view, works perfectly normal. So all the fragments, so if I want to add, let's say, another uh, math class. All right, so we'll just hit back here. Let's say I want to add another math class. We'll look at all of them. And actually, let me filter this out to make sure that it shows only math lectures. So I want to add calc. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I think I can add this. Yep, so it's added. And as you can see, it's all added there. Now, <clears throat> one thing I also, the last thing I want to point out is what if you don't have an internet connection? So let's actually try to simulate that. So if I run the search fragment, and let's say I totally turned off my internet connection, went into airplane mode. So there's no internet connection on this phone. And let's say I want to look for a CS class. If I hit search, it says this process requires internet and you are not connected. Click OK. So it requires that you do have a working internet connection. So let's turn on our internet. So we're connected to Wi-Fi now. So let's hit CS. And I can still see all my classes now that I have Wi-Fi. Now let's say I disable the internet from here. So no internet. Let's turn on airplane mode. If I hit this, it'll say this process requires internet because we're fetching the rest of the data from our Google Firebase. So we'll have to return to the last screen. Now I can turn my internet back on. Look at the CS course again and it works just as fine. And then one other thing I wanted to mention is that this app is strictly designed to visualize a schedule. So now if you're looking at an online class, some online classes, especially for the circumstances that we're living in right now with uh, COVID-19, some classes do have a timestamp of arranged. So let me try to find one. I believe there was a 2114 class. All right. So some classes have an arranged time, and for the purpose of this application, because it's strictly meant to visualize your schedule, you can't necessarily visualize a class whose times are arranged, because it can change around. So if you were to add this right now, it would say, cannot add a class with an arranged time to the schedule. All right, so that's a very brief overview of the application, and that about wraps it up.